it's time to talk about stalkers. But this time, a lot more in depth than the other videos on the site so far, if you start in the beginner section. Stalkers are a kind of complex unit with really different functions in each matchup. So we're gonna go ahead and go through every single matchup and the different parts of the game, the early game, the mid game, and the late game, and actually show you, is this a unit you really wanna be making? Should it be a support unit, harassment? What do you do with this unit in this matchup during this part of the game? And of course, for micro and build orders and things like that, we'll have more videos later on. The Stalker is a very interesting unit in Protoss vs. Protoss. Well, you can use it for a lot of different things in the early and mid game, but in the late game, you literally don't want any Stalkers. They're kind of garbage there. We'll get to that in just a minute here, but let's talk about the early game first. The Stalker is something that no matter what, unless you're doing a really weird kind of out there build, like a really quick Phoenix build or something like that, then you might not get a Stalker and just go Zealot Sentry. But if you do something like that, you could have a hard time against quick Warp Gate rushes. So normally we always see at least one Stalker popping out. Oftentimes people go three Stalker as well, and this is just gonna help to push back pylons, get some map control. Three Stalker rushes, one of the best ways to gain map control in early PvP. In fact, there's even a five stalker rush. You go for two gateways, you can go into a five stalker rush that normally hits right before your opponent has warp gate. It's definitely a build that's gonna be on this site somewhere, so go look for it. Now, the five stalker rush, normally you go into blink after something like this, or even the three stalker rush, oftentimes you go into blink. Because when you have this many stalkers, blink is a great spell in the early game of this matchup and you're gonna be able to blink around, gain map control, threaten counterattacks, and maybe hurt your opponent. You know, blink micro, one of the most important things in the early game of PvP. In fact, if you don't have it, you're not really a complete PvP player because blink has to be one of the builds that's in your arsenal. And if someone knows that it's not in your arsenal, then you can be in a lot of trouble. Now, stalkers become less and less powerful throughout the game. And that's because the units that Protoss gets in the late game slaughter them. A lot of Immortals, Charged Zealots, a lot of Colossi. The Stalkers are not going to be worthwhile. So if you're going for a lot of Stalkers, you have to make them count in the early game. You have to gain some sort of advantage, whether that's quicker expansions, dealing damage with them, killing off pieces of your opponent's army, or just keeping them in their base long enough for you to get an additional base, even on top of maybe their natural, you have three bases or four bases because you committed so heavily to those Blink Stalkers. But as we enter the late game, you actually have to send them around the map and try to harass as best you can, get any value you can, and eventually actually let them die, believe it or not. You don't want to have, you know, 10, 15 Blink Stalkers at the end of the game when you're both maxed out. Because when you do a battle, if you both have similar concaves and similar number of, number of Colossi, you'll end up losing because you have all these Stalkers that just are not doing as much as the other units. They actually have lower DPS than just about everything else in the Protoss army, and you're gonna find yourself in a hard spot. So as you enter that late game of PvP, be careful. Don't continue to make Stalkers. Stalkers will just be something that are an emergency switch to if your opponent does something really, really weird like Carriers or Void Rays. Stalkers are very important against Terran in the early game. The Stalker is going to be the first unit that comes out that can actually get the SCV out of your base. Before that, the SCV that is scouting you is going to be able to see absolutely everything. So that first Stalker, almost every single game, you are going to Chrono Boost out to kill off the SCV and get it out of there. Now, based upon exactly what builds you want to do, you're going to make between one and three Stalkers in the early game of Protoss vs. Terran. Unless, of course, you're doing some sort of crazy blink all in. Now, with the one to three Stalkers, you do a lot of different things. You're going to scout the map. You're going to go ahead and micro against marines that are moving against you. You're going to take watchtowers. You're going to stop your opponent from scouting you. All these things are actually really important usages of the stalker. They really deny the scouting of your opponent because Protoss has to hide at least a little bit. If it's completely predictable what they're doing, Terran can counter it very easily. So let's go ahead and talk about stalkers more into the mid game. Well, unless you open with Twilight Tech, you're not gonna really have more than one to three stalkers in the early part of the mid game. Stalkers just aren't needed yet. You really wanna make zealots, you wanna make sentries to gain a lot of energy, but the stalker is a unit that either you get blink for it and start to do a really great job, 
or you wait until you have some Colossus tech out or something that you need the anti-air for. So for instance, let's say that you're going for a heavy Colossus all in on two base. Then yes, after you have like the rest of your Colossus fixed up, like let's say you want three for your attack. Then you're, you will then start to make a lot of suckers afterwards because you used up all your early gas, getting your Colossi out, and now you're gonna go for a lot of stalkers. Otherwise, you will get blink, and then you're just going to make a decent amount of stalkers. You don't need too many. Like, for instance, 10, that might be too many at times. But let's say that you have eight, that's gonna do everything you really want. You can blink around and stop drop ships. You can go ahead and harass your, unit, your opponent on the map a little bit, his units. For instance, if Marines and Marauders are walking around, you can go up and kill off one or two and then blink away before he can catch you. Pick off Vikings as best you can, and all that stuff. As we hit later in the game, some players prefer to go stalkerless a little bit to use their gas on other units. That is definitely one way you can play, but stalkers still have a big use. If you have a lot of Colossi, you're going to want to use the stalkers to blink under any Vikings that are going after them. Also, during a battle, you may want to start picking off not just Vikings with them, but medevacs as well. If Terran's on the run and trying to micro against you, a great strategy is to actually start picking off as many medevacs as possible and then blinking away as all your zealots die. This is going to overtax his starport, which has his long-term units in it, things like Vikings and things like dropships. It's the hardest thing for Terran to remake. So Stalkers, while they aren't the backbone of this matchup, still something that's going to see a lot of use.